Hey there, it's Mimi Chan, Registered Dietitian, Certified Diabetes Educator, and we're back for another day. Today is day six. Day six out of seven, do you feel it? Do you feel how well you're doing and how good it is to be getting close to the end of the tunnel? Because nothing is impossible. I mean, the word itself is saying I'm possible. So nothing was impossible. And the thing is that you set up what you wanted to do. What you used to believe was impossible is now a reality. You pushed uphill and now you have hit the top, ready to use that momentum to keep on going. At the end of today, you will see that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. So are you ready? If you're ready, let's start off with that same winning mindset that's been getting us through the week. Clear your mind, avoid bargaining with yourself, no excuses, we're taking a deep breath because we're off. Refresh yourself by looking at the layers of living success and keep on building on those tips that I gave you, as well as even keep on building on some of the tips that you're giving yourself. Just a little bit of a reminder about how to use these layers. Number one, always start with a nine inch plate. This is the only measurement you'll need to take. Now, if you have other dishes in uh, your cupboard and you want to get an idea about how it looks like on your other plates, you can use your nine inch plate that you've been using for the entire week and kind of put it on top of it so that you have an idea about kind of where it can go on your additional plates. Next is fist, palm, thumb. Look at your hand and the thing is that, you know, I don't even have to say it before you're going to tell me fist, palm, thumb for your meals. Using the fist palm thumb method, at least the fist size of layer one, at least a palm size of layer two, at least a thumb size of layer three, and at most half a fist size of layer four. You're doing great. You're going to be great. And the thing is that you probably can tell me better than I can tell you right now. Right, by now, your meals are making sense to you. Some of the things that you've done, maybe you're not too fond of, you won't do them again. So explore different other type of foods. Your foods are going to be appetizing. Your foods are gonna taste yummy. You're gonna be excited to eat this. So it won't look restrictive. And the last piece of advice, as always, is making sure you're hydrated throughout this entire week, during meals and in between meals. Here are some additional tips that are gonna help you with the rest of your day. Now, again, looking at layer two and three first, you already have an idea about how to pick out your main dish. Your seasoning is going to depend on your day and depend on your mood, so it's always up to you. With perfection, it doesn't, you don't get perfect right away. So perfection comes with practice. If you do a dish and you don't really like the way it turned out, do it again with always, you're going to find your groove and exactly how you want to do things. Continue to pick out those dark greens and upping the amount of layer two if it's been helping you get over that uh, carb withdrawal type of fog. Layer four is always the last piece of your meal. Uh, continue to choose from that fruit section if it's also been helping you get over that slump too. If you're over that slump and you're good, then choose something else from layer four. Drink plenty of unsweetened beverages. It can vary from your water or your coffee or your tea uh, or just having both at the same meal. It's really up to you. Now, again, when a sugar craving hits, do something you like instead. If it's something that it's not really working the first time, maybe pick another hobby, maybe do something else like talk to someone about it. Say that, you know, hey, my sugar craving is kind of hitting. I don't want to turn to food. Let me um, pick your mind about a couple of things I can do, or maybe even call someone up just to say that you want to talk to them and share your success or your difficulties. That craving usually passes after an hour. Now, with everything, you want to continue checking your blood sugars. Also, if there's any low numbers, know what you want to do at that time. If you're not too familiar still, go back to video one, and in that case, it can go over a couple of things of what to do with the 15, 15, 15 rule to help you bring back your sugar up at the safe level. Here's what your day six can look like. For breakfast, let's have poached eggs with hollandaise with roasted red peppers, artichoke hearts, um, navel orange with espresso, and um, maybe that day the espresso is a little bit too much for you, so tall glass of lemon water. 
For lunch, we can go Asian inspired with stir fried beef strips uh, paired with onion, peppers, bean sprouts, scallions. You can throw in your own mixture. Some people like sugar snap peas, that's okay too. Soba noodles, sweet with a seaweed soup, just a little bit of that savory warm component, and a barley tea. Now for dinner, you can continue that same Asian inspired type of uh, theme and go for a sashimi with a scallop, salmon, sea urchin, tuna, mackerel. I really leave it up to you. Some people like sea urchin, some people don't. So pick the ones that you want. Miso soup, braised vegetable medley, or you can go for a little bit of that uh, acidic route going for the pickled vegetables like pickled radishes, radishes sorry, <laughs> with uh, plum slices and green tea. Now, these menu ideas are just there to show you how foods don't need to be boring or restrictive. Doesn't mean that you have to create a different meal each time. They're just meant to inspire you. And so when you're inspired and you like the way it, it, it turns out, you like the way it tastes, um, you're going to go to those recipes all the time. So I challenge you to make a few of your staple type of recipes that you can go to all the time and have the layers of living success in mind while you do it. As with every single day, check your blood sugars, make sure you're logging them, and logging how you're feeling, that's going to help you with the rest of your other days as well. Until tomorrow, I wish you happy eating.